G'day guys, just uh, sharing my feasibility today of my Waikiki project. Said I would, so I will. Um, gonna jump straight into it. Okay, all right. So first page of the spreadsheet, we're looking at the, the feasibility for the actual renovation cost itself. Um, so starting from the top, kitchen and laundry cabinets, Supply and install, $5,048. For, uh, a lot of people say that looks cheap. Well, it is cheap. It is very cheap. So it's really, really good pricing. Um, you'll see it looks a million bucks as well when it's in. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than Bunnings and it looks a lot better as well. So I'm on to a winner with that, uh, the, yeah, with the place that I use. So I'll definitely keep using them. Uh, stone bench tops. Uh, I always use stone bench tops in my kitchen and laundries. I just think it looks really good. It adds a bit of wow factor versus laminate tops. Uh, all my prices I'm showing here include GST as well. So 2310 inclusive of GST and that's supply and install. Uh, 1016 bucks for my appliances. So oven, range wood and cooktop in the kitchen. I get those from Retrovision. Plumbing gear, I get from Trade Link. That was 1986. And my plumber cost to do all is his, uh, you know, demo um, or disconnect, I should call it, um, uh, set up and fit off, 2640 uh, 420 bucks for my shower screen. So that's a frameless shower screen. Once again, a bit of a wow factor, but cheap. It looks really good. Just finishes off the ensuite really nicely. Uh, 1200 bucks for those broken windows that I've had fixed already in both the bathroom and the ensuite. My tiler, who's tiling the laundry and the ensuite, 2007 bucks. And it's also two thousand for the for the tiles and stuff like that that I've that I've uh, purchased. So the tiles, also the tile adhesive and grout. So that's what that two grand is. It'd probably be less than that, but that's what I've allowed. I've already paid for the tiles. It's considerably so I've over allowed them and that amount. Uh, tile removal for all the slate tiling was two one two five. So that was eighty five square meters at twenty five bucks a meter. Uh, electrical two grand. Not a lot of electrical happening. It's um, it's mainly putting up those oyster lights throughout all the all the living areas, uh, and yeah, just obviously the standard disconnect that he that he had to do already as well. So, uh, moving on to the painting, I six and a half grand for the painter. I do use a good painter. He is a little bit. You know, I could probably get it cheaper, but he does a really good job. Makes the house look really present really well. External paint two and a half grand. So that's all your gutters and eaves and or your external stuff. Uh, roof paint, yeah, once again, roof paint, something you don't have to do, but it just really finishes it off. Two and a half grand makes makes the external just look so much better. So uh, getting getting the roof sprayed. 2,300 for the texture render at the front of the home. So I do the front elevation only. Uh, my usual guy was cheaper, but I've had to use somebody out. So a bit of a last minute thing so that's two three still not too bad a price for texture coat once again could have gone sand red but texture coat i just think it looks nicer so just some of those finishing touches just look a little bit nicer uh window treatments i buy my blinds online 1300 bucks and then i've allowed 400 bucks for the installation from my handyman hybrid floors i've allowed five days for him to install that the hybrid floors uh but there's no i haven't put it Pricing for materials because I've had had the the flooring for so long. I've, I bought a bunch of it last year and I've used it on a few renos and still got some left. So uh, there's no cost in there for that one. But yeah, probably two grand is what it would be for for this sort of house. I think I pay about twenty three bucks a meter. Uh, Scotia. Uh, so I'm not doing any skirting. I'm just doing Scotia cheaper than what's and it's just a quick lay as well. So three hundred bucks for the Scotia, four hundred bucks for it to be. Uh, laid by my handyman, garden tidy up, uh, three days for a gardener, so it's approximately 340 bucks or 320 bucks a day at 40 bucks an hour. And then I've also allowed, I've allowed 1500, which will just cover some mulching and additional lawn mowing and uh, the fertilizer that I bought to, for the for the grass and so on. Uh, handyman, 1600 bucks. He's already done two days of that, which was for demo, but there's another two days in there for him to do his finishes. So that's putting up that shower screen for me tower rails the mirrors in the bathrooms just any of those sort of last finishes 
door handles as well. He'll be putting up the door handles as well on the on the new doors. So three hundred bucks for that. Always putting new doors. The, the actual doors, I'm sorry, the doors themselves are in good nick, so there's no holes. A few stickers and stuff like that, but that'll be fine. They can be rubbed back and painted. Um, but three hundred bucks just for the the new door handles. Ceiling fixer. He came out and had a look at the job again today, just because to, he was in the area. But he said it's only a day's work. So uh, the the uh, cornice and the a uh, few of the holes that he needs patching. So about 600 bucks a day and then I've allowed a thousand bucks just for the extra uh, material that he will need. Skip bin, I'm only going to need the one skip bin. It's a 10 cube, cost me 655 bucks. And I won't need another one. So there's enough room in there at the moment to get me through to the end of the month, which is good and all the demos done. So really it's only bits and pieces uh, that will pretty much go in from now. And then there's a two grand contingency. So all up, uh, if we have a look at the total, I'd be saying we're looking at, well, I've allowed 48,000. That's what's on my feasibility. So generally you would like use a little bit, you know, maybe 10% for a contingency, but for something like this, when I know I've got all my numbers, I know there's not going to be any surprises. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with the 48,000. Uh, moving over to the final costings. So, okay, so this is basically how my numbers look as a whole. So the purchase price of this property was 320 grand, the stamp duty and the other bits and pieces at settlement that you get slogged was at uh, $10,034. Uh, legal, because uh, I've used a money partner and lodged a, a registered caveat, two grand. The settlement cost for settling on the property, 880 bucks. The termite and building inspection I had prior to purchase, 495 bucks. Renovation. 48 grand uh, holding costs two grand so that's you know the water rates and land rates and a little bit you know insurance for four months i'm only planning on holding the property for no more than four months so therefore those holding costs are, are minimal and the land rates in that in this in this suburb and that are not great either so that's why that that's quite low uh the sales costs i'm selling it myself and so i'll be selling it through property now it's about 700 bucks and then a uh, couple hundred bucks for photos. So I've allowed a thousand bucks for that. Uh, the staging three four, so that has gone up, but it is a four by two, so that's that amount there. Settlement six hundred and sixty bucks, so it's a little bit cheaper to sell it using uh, what it is buying it. My settlement agent charges a little bit less for the sale rather than the purchase. Money partner, I borrowed three hundred thirty thousand. They paid for the purchase and the stamp duty, so on their Four month return, they'll get paid sixteen and a half grand. So all up four oh four nine six nine. Uh, I plan on selling it for six four six five or more. So there's a sixty thousand dollar profit for me. So that's uh, that's the numbers. That's how it looks. And um, yeah, obviously it's not crazy or anything like that. The the profit, but if you can do you know several you know a few of these a year, then it can uh, it can be attractive. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that's all I've got for you. Thank you.